right, let's see if I can be quick about this. In the Genesis 1, verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So we're going to focus on that word heaven. All right, and we're going to see here in the new King James Version, which is not a new King James Version. It is an attempt to get people away from the King James Bible. All right. And you're going to see here in a second, they follow all the corrupt Bible versions. In the New King James Version, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens. And I'm going to show you why that's wrong as well. Okay, and the earth. So let's look at the corrupt Bible versions. The NASB says heavens. All right. And then, of course, the New Catholic Bible heavens and your all-time favorite the NIV says heavens see so that New King James Version is following all the corrupt Bible versions all right now let's close these three out and just focus on these two and then we'll open it up to the whole chapter and we'll take a we'll focus on that word heaven. There, oh, I had it. Um, okay, so uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So we see down here in verse, uh, you know, I think it's six here. Yeah, uh, God said, "Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters." And God made the firmament. And then in verse eight, God called the firmament heaven. So now we can make this word a plural, okay? It's got to start out singular because this has not been made yet, right? In the morning, in the evening and the morning were the second day. So this is, there's no logical reason for using the word heavens. It just doesn't make any sense. So let's go to chapter 2 real quick. And we'll see, let's focus on that word first. And we'll see, thus the heavens and the earth were finished. So now it's proper to say heavens. It was not proper to say it in the very first verse. Because this uh, firmament had not been made yet. And so there's no reason to make heaven plural. Right? Is that simple enough? Okay. So the, the main question, the big question... You have to ask yourself, why is the New King James Version following all the other corrupt Bible versions? If it truly was a New King James Version, ought it not say the exact same thing that the King James Bible says? Think about it.